Life is gone. At some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Everything's gonna go south and you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I end. We all get hit on the blind side by life. A lot of things are gonna happen that will catch you off guard. You can lose your family. You can lose your job. Lose your home, lose your car. They can say you can't come back. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. Embrace the failure. Recycle your pain. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow it to take you to the next level. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. Some of the greatest things you will ever learn and some of the greatest changes in your life will be due to pain. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. Let's go! Get up! Sometimes in life, you have to hit back. This is my new day. It's time for us to stand. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. There are certain things that you got to go through. There are certain pitfalls that you got to fall down. You have got to make a declaration to say, I am a conqueror. I'm unstoppable. There's nothing I can't achieve. You've got to be willing to harness your will. In spite of what you went through, in spite of how you suffered, you're still looking at your dream, saying to yourself, it is not over until I win. You gotta protect me. So the secret to real happiness is progress. Progress equals happiness, and if we can make progress on a regular basis, we feel alive. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. Don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. There's something in you that said there's a bigger life waiting for me calling my name. There's something in you that says I'm on my way to a greater life. Regardless of what comes down the cut, that you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, always looking for a way that you can win, always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. There's greatness in you. You have got to be relentless. See, the last chapter to your life has not been written yet, and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. I deserve this. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. Another foggy gray morning. Feels like you don't have a reason to wake up. You don't respect yourself anymore. Something's wrong. You need to change something. It's time you take control of yourself. It's time you leave your comfort zone. And the competition begins with your strongest enemy. Yourself. Take everything from scratch. Pay attention. Focus. Get it right. That's it. You're doing it now. You're on the right path. You feel good. But it's getting tougher and tougher. You can do it. Come on. Stay there. Stay. No one.
Mom said it's gonna be easy. Pain. Frustration. Are you gonna stay down? No. no. Today is not a day for failure. You are better than that. Don't give up. Don't accept your limits. Don't look back. You've made your choice. The good choice. You're not alone in this fight. We're here to help you. There you go. We're looking after you. Every day, be better than yesterday. Push yourself further, faster. You can feel your victory. You know where you want to go. Your inner self is stronger. You know that you will be more tomorrow. Always look up, raise the bar higher and higher. There is no limit. Feel the energy. You've got this. Your mind and body are now one. Enough is enough, right? Look, yesterday, yesterday, I, I made my last excuse yesterday, and I'm talking to somebody. The reason why you have not become successful, the reason why you are not like a locomotive, the reason why you're not having success in your life is because every single day you got an excuse, and I need you to do me a favor. I made my last excuse yesterday, my last reason. I came up with my last reason yesterday of why I can't do what I'm supposed to do. And so, I need you to do me a huge favor. All your excuses, all your good reasons, everything, every, everything that's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to do, I need you to put it behind you and say yesterday was the last day for that foolishness. Yesterday was the last day to say I don't have enough money to do this. I don't have enough money to go to school. I don't have enough money to get a computer. I don't have, I don't have what it takes. I'm not smart enough, right? I, I don't write well enough. I don't sing well enough. That's why I didn't do my CD. I didn't write my book because I'm not on that level. Listen to me. You better hear what I'm saying. Yesterday was the last day that I want to hear an excuse. It's over with. I'm going to fight, I'm going to work, I'm going to press toward, I'm going to learn, I'm going to do everything in my power, every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. If you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, that is really not easy as some people will make us feel that living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. Whenever people fail to achieve their goals 99.9% .9 of the time, and you ask them why, they'll tell you it's because of a lack of resources. That's what all these things are. I didn't have the support, right? I didn't have the money, we didn't have the time, we didn't have this, we didn't have that. There's a resource that people believe is missing. And that resource, belief structure, then keeps people from ever being able to really lead. Because what leaders do is they find a way to maximize whatever resources they have, as little as they may be, and they don't believe in limited resources. The power to hold on in spite of everything, the power to endure, this is the winner's quality. The hunger, the ability to face defeat again and again without giving up. This is a winner's quality. You have that quality within you. When you're hungry, you don't care about the facts. You don't care about the odds. Release your attachment to outcomes. Now you say, Robin, what are, what are you talking about? One of the real reasons we don't do the things that frighten us is because we are afraid of being judged. We are afraid of failure. We are afraid of success. We are afraid of stumbling. What I'm suggesting to you is one of the reasons we don't really step into our heroic nature as human beings is because we're attached to the outcome. And so just developing the philosophy where you live in the moment, you do the things that frighten you, and you don't really worry about what happens. That will develop a sense of fearlessness and a sense of bravery. The truth was that I wasn't giving all that I had. The truth was that there are some things that I wanted to do, but I didn't have the courage to act on those things. Well, now that we can see how short life really can be, what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? That's a trigger. Uh, that's the biggest trigger that I have ever experienced. What are you gonna do the rest of your life? And what I had to do, 
I had to start taking some of my own advice. I have been telling people, I had written about it for a very long time, that if you're doing something that you're not totally committed to, if you're doing something that you're not totally passionate about, you're compromising yourself every day.